Good day, students. I am Teacher Sarah and I will be your teacher for today. Are you ready for our lesson? Great! Come and let's learn more. The Microscope The invention of the microscope has opened up a whole new dimension in science all over the world. Scientists were able to discover the existence of microorganisms, study the structure of cells, and see the smallest parts of plants, animals, and fungi by using the microscope. During the 1590s, a Dutch optician named Zacharias Janssen invented the first compound microscope. Together with his father, they started experimenting with lenses. They put several lenses in a tube and made a very important discovery. The object near the end of the tube appeared to be greatly enlarged, much larger than it would appear seen under a simple magnifying glass. Because of this discovery, groundbreaking in the microscope field, scientists gained access to a whole new microscopic world. Microscopes are powerful tools that help people see detailed pictures of objects too small to be seen with the naked eye. These instruments allow scientists to study microorganisms, cells, crystalline structures, and molecular structures. They magnify blood samples so doctors can see malaria parasites attacking red blood cells. Engineers create more efficient electronic devices because microscopes could enlarge images of silicon chips. Parts and functions of a compound microscope A compound microscope consists of several parts has both an eyepiece and an objective lens. In many compound microscopes, different objective lenses can be rotated into place, allowing for different magnification strengths. Eyepiece The eyepiece is what you look through at the top of the microscope. It is where the real magnification happens. It contains the ocular lens that has a magnification that can range from 5 times to 30 times. Typically, the most common setting of the eyepiece has a magnifying power of 10 times. It will magnify the already enlarged image from the objective lens, making it even larger. Body tube The body tube connects the eyepiece and ocular lens to the objective lenses located near the microscope stage. It holds the eyepiece in place above the objective lens. Objective Lenses The objective lenses combine with the eyepiece lens to increase magnification levels. It is the primary optical lens on a microscope that is closest to the object. Microscopes generally feature three or four objective lenses, with magnification levels ranging from 4 times to 100 times. Nose piece The nose piece is a part of the microscope that holds the objective lenses. Microscope users can rotate this part to switch between the objective lenses and adjust the magnification power. Stage The stage is a platform for the slides that holds the specimen. It has a large clip on either side to hold the slide firmly in place. A mechanical stage is used when working at higher magnifications where delicate movements of the specimen slide are required. Stage Clips Stage clips are used when there is no mechanical stage. The viewer is required to move the slide manually to view different sections of the specimen. Illuminator The illuminator is located at the base of the microscope 
and a source of light for viewing in the microscope. Three types of light are commonly used, tungsten, fluorescent, and halogen. Tungsten is the least expensive and most common. Fluorescent is bright, white, and runs cool. Halogen is very bright and white but gives off heat like tungsten. Condenser It is used to collect and focus the light from the illuminator onto the specimen. It is located under the stage often in conjunction with an iris diaphragm. Iris diaphragm Iris diaphragm controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. It is located above the condenser and below the stage. Arm The microscope arm connects the eyepiece tube to the base. This is the part that needs to be held when transporting a microscope. Base The base provides stability and support for the microscope when it is upright. It is also holds the illuminator or light source. Course Adjustment The course adjustment is a large round knob on the side of the microscope. This is the rough focus knob used to move the stage up and down on the microscope. It is also used to move the objective lenses toward or away from the specimen. Fine Adjustment The fine adjustment is a small, round knob on the side of the microscope that is used to fine-tune the focus on the specimen. Generally, the coarse focus should be used first to get a close view of the specimen, then moves to the fine focus knob is adjusted for fine-tuning. This adjustment can be used only with a high-power objective or HPO. Types of Microscopes Microscopes today come in all shapes and sizes and each type performs different tasks based on the experiment or project at hand. Microscopes are made for all different kinds of specimens and levels of magnification and can be used in a number of fields of study. First is Compound Microscope. A compound microscope is well known in science laboratories and schools. This mechanical microscope has lights to display the specimen and offers varying levels of magnification. Using glass slides, it can magnify a variety of specimens from living to dead cells of humans, animals, and plants. Second is fluorescence microscope. The fluorescence microscope uses a unique wavelength of light to display the specimen. Its light is taken in by the specimen, making it give off light to showcase its parts. This microscope highlights the different smaller parts of a specimen that the basic light microscope would not be able to notice. Third is digital microscope. In a digital microscope, there is a camera inside that transmits images to a monitor for better viewing. It is similar to a compound microscope in its viewing capabilities. Therefore, instead of a traditional eye hole that many microscopes have, the eye hole of a digital microscope is a large screen that can be viewed by multiple people at once. Fourth is pocket microscope. A pocket microscope is used in banks for inspecting money and by jewelries to inspect pieces and stones. This small handheld microscope uses a much lower level of magnification than laboratory microscopes but still yields a good enough amount of detail that the naked eye cannot see. It is also convenient being small enough to carry around in the pocket. Fifth is dissecting microscope. A dissecting microscope is unique because it helps in the dissection of a specimen. It uses light to convey the specimen in a three-dimensional view. There are two separate eye holes to give two views and could help see all angles of the specimen. However, this microscope has a lower magnification quality than other microscopes. And last is electron microscope. 
the electron microscope has one of the highest magnification capabilities of any microscope along with good resolution. It uses a beam of electrons instead of light and can magnify objects 150,000 times. It helps scientists to see things that are smaller than light waves themselves, such as viruses or details of a cell's nucleus. The two main types of electron microscopes are the Transmission Electron Microscope or TEM and the Scanning Electron Microscope or SEM. The TEM focuses a fixed beam of electrons to make two-dimensional images, while the SEM scans across the surface of a sample to obtain a three-dimensional view.